here's your jigsaw too. My name is James Michalopoulos. I'm an artist and I live in New Orleans, Louisiana. When I first started out, I was very concerned about proportionality. I was basically doing graphic photographs. At some point, I remember feeling very influenced by the music in the city. Wherever I was, music was in the air. I can remember decisively coming into being in the Ninth Ward. Someone was there watching me work. The music was in the background. I felt very taken by the whole romance of the scene and the funkiness of it. I felt moved to take some risks. This is a fundamental aspect of what I love about the city of New Orleans, is a city that supports risk. It's a city where a jazz musician, or a musician, period, is encouraged to take risks with their music. I got one more to grab. Hey, Gavin, you do me a favor, and when you get a chance, uh, take a shot of the sculpture. Okay. As it's sitting on the table right there, I laid some pieces on it and send it to me. All right. Thanks. Do. I'll have something to think about a little bit. The main thing about being a working artist is that you're productive. It actually means action. It's not thinking about art. It's making art. This thing folds up, but it's a pain. I'm going to try to get it in here without that. I could actually do that one. I'll make up my mind right now, like I'm supposed to. You would have to be totally distracted to be placed in the heart of one of our neighborhoods and not be kind of taken by the mysterious complexity and beauty of it all. Beautiful. A block can mutate from year to year. That said, all the spiritual energy, all the energetic qualities of all those people that have been there all over the years, much of that remains. And you can still feel it. And one day, you're sensitive to what's happening right now. One day, you're sensitive to 1954, or 1932, or 21, or maybe 1850. There are indications and traces of all of that there. What you see in my process on plein air is just a canvas up on an easel and a summary drawing which indicates my sensibilities of the circumstance and to some degree the generalized major motions of the scene and then um, into the paint. I bet you I'm going to be hearing from my neighbors about this, too. Was that you out there?
we have several architectural styles that are unique in America. They're human scale, they're accessible, they're ornate and they're expressive. They are accommodating and they speak to the warmth of the culture. And not only that, but they combine together in a unique expression. So it's not just a beautiful hairdo, it's a wonderful hat and that jacket is gorgeous. A picture is integrated or not. It has integrity or it does not. Just in the same sense that a paragraph that might describe your black beans and rice might have integrity or might not. It might get to the heart of the subject matter or it might not. With a painting, it's kind of like that. Does it knit together? Is there integrity in that expression? Have you gotten to the heart of the matter at the hand there? So a lot of times students ask me, you know, what's it like being a working artist? The bottom line on it is it's very, very rewarding. It's incredibly personal and uh, humbling. It's about contribution. It's not about making a lot of money. Maybe you will, but maybe you won't. But you can always give yourself totally to it. That is the most surefire way to distinguish yourself in the world. It's a whole different look at the light. All kinds of people trying to make a lot of money. Very few trying to give themselves totally to their work. And at the end of the day, what will you be most enriched by and what will you be most remembered by? You're alive and making something beautiful that expresses your heart. And man, there's a lot to say for that. It's so damn dark. Okay, that's it. Wrap it up. I just want to say thank you for honoring our neighborhood like yes. this. Mm -hmm. It's a great, it's a very, very big honor. Yeah, it was a lot of fun.
What a beautiful day. Are you kidding? It was gorgeous. We need to bottle it up and break would, it out in August. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, you're right. You, would you mind if they get a picture? Come uh, on. Yeah. Here we go. Well, it's not like we waited until it was dark or anything. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. My pleasure. I'll be around. I'm going to do a series over here. Here we go. try to avoid is setting it down on a windy day where it blows over and gets into the dirt. Then you go like, oh my god, oh my god, I won't survive. But you see, I did survive. 